What's up you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am starting off the vlog in my car. As you can tell from the title, I want to do a get ready with me for LA vlog because I have so many errands to run and so many things to do before the trip. So I wanted to take you guys along with me. Basically, I had to get my jeans altered. So I actually went last week to do that. But yeah, so I actually dropped it off on Thursday of last week. Today it's Monday. I leave on Wednesday. So I dropped it off on Thursday. They got it done super quick. I got it done at Nordstrom and that was my first time ever going to Nordstrom to get alterations done. And it was for a pair of jeans that wasn't from Nordstrom. So I thought that was awesome that I could do it there. And they were super fast, super friendly. And I also like compared the prices with a bunch of the other alteration places around and Nordstrom was cheaper. So I was really pleasantly surprised with them. And I picked up my jeans today and so so hopefully they fit um, I also had to exchange my a bag I, so I worked with coach a few months ago and I wanted to exchange that bag that I got then because I just never used it I like took a picture with it but then I realized I didn't really love it so I decided I wanted to exchange it for another one so I went to do that I'll show you guys which bag I exchanged it for in a little bit and then also uh, recently I've just been really wanting a Louis Vuitton bag and so I just figured, you know what, I should get it before I go to LA because it's much cheaper in Hawaii and I just want it, I don't know. And yeah, so I've had my eye on it for so long and finally found one that I like. I feel like I've always seen Louis Vuitton and I was like, I don't really like any of these bags. And then the one that I got kind of just grew on me. So I'm looking to get the Alma BB. And so hopefully they have it in stock today and hopefully I can get it. Um, so after I do that, I have to go get a COVID test because I want to get tested before I go and see my friends just to make sure that we're safe and we're doing this right since we are in a pandemic. So gonna go into the mall now. I'll catch you guys after. This is my outfit. This is the bag I exchanged the other day for at Coach. It's so cute, I love it. Okay, peeps, I'm back and I got it, which is so exciting. I don't know, heart is still kind of racing. I'm not really one to spend money. Like if you guys ask my friends, I don't shop a lot at all. Like I'd love to save my money and I really am frugal, but I just was really feeling it. I just was really in the mood to get one and I feel like I'll use it so much, but really feeling anxious right now because I just spent a lot of money. So we'll see if I regret it tomorrow if I wake up and I feel like and I still feel like this I will probably return it, but I'll unbox it for you guys now I'm a little sad because they said they were out of boxes today So they said I'll come back and they'll give me a box So I just have it in a dust bag in my bag, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway So I got the Alma BB How cute is it you guys? It's so perfect. I love it so much so it's like I wanted this because it's a top handle and I've been kind of getting tired, not tired, I love my bag so much, but like I just been craving a top handle bag because I feel like I have a lot of crossbody bags and uh, shoulder strap bags now, but I don't have a top handle one. So I think the top handle is so chic and I'm excited to use it because I think it's just a lot more elevated. It makes the look look so much more classy when you're wearing it. So I'm so excited for this one. Um, and it fits so much. It actually comes with a strap so you can wear it crossbody, but I probably will rarely ever wear it crossbody unless I'm on the go because I like the look of it just like this. And so this is what it looks like inside. It's just like a straight up bag like this. And I didn't know this, but it actually comes with like a Louis Vuitton lock. So just like this comes with it, which is so sick. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited about this bag and again, I'm not one to usually spend money But just felt like splurging a little bit. I now I'm not paying rent in New York and I don't know. This is not normal for me It's just like I've been wanting a Louis Vuitton bag for forever and I don't have one. So 
so that was my quick unboxing for you guys so excited i wish it came with an actual box so it looked cuter but whatever um can't wait to style it in la and now i'm off to get a covid test which i am extremely terrified about i really think i'm gonna pass out and you can only go by yourself obviously for like these reasons um pandemic reasons so i'm gonna go right now and pray for me that it turns out okay because i'm really scared i'm gonna faint i'm not gonna bring you guys with me because there's no way i can think about filming or rewatch me doing that situation but i will definitely check in with you guys after She definitely put the tissues there in case I go crazy. So, told her I was nervous and then she put this there. Scary. Okay fam, just finished my COVID test. Couldn't vlog in the parking lot because someone was waiting for my stall, but it wasn't bad, you guys. And that's coming from me. I literally faint at everything. Like I get, a, I get a blood or a finger prick for a blood test and I faint. I get my eyes dilated and I faint and that really wasn't bad. Although he, they only did one nostril and he left it in there for like five seconds. He put it in and he was like, okay, breathe, breathe. And I was like, uh, the heck, wasn't expecting that. But that was kind of the only thing. Really wasn't bad, it did set off my allergies, but it wasn't painful. It was just more so uncomfortable, but either way, not bad, that was successful. And now I am uh, going to my friend's house. We are going to make pasta because it's his mother's birthday. So TTYL. Cheers. Daxton is prepping the vodka sauce. Is that what we're making? Mm -hmm. Vodka sauce, pink sauce. Here's making fresh pasta. Party did not come prepared, so they brought me this shirt. You were prepared. Fit all pink. She was ready. Okay, so it's Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday, and didn't vlog at all yesterday because I was super busy with random stuff. Um, but it's Wednesday, my flight is in six hours, which is great because I haven't even touched my suitcase at all. Um, but right now, Jason and I are going to Costco because we need to get flu shots and I realized I should probably do that before I go. And we're also going to drop off our, well, my ballots for the election because I'll be gone so I won't be here to vote. So I'm voting early. Hope you guys are all doing the same. My COVID test came back today. I am negative. So excited about that. I mean, I would hope that I would be, but excited that that finally came back. So I feel a lot more, I guess, sane at traveling and not as anxious, you know, thinking about like traveling within pandemic. At least I know that I am going to keep my friends safe. So we're all going to go get tested before seeing each other. So really happy that that came back negative. Um, so yeah, going to go drop everything off, get a flu shot get some food and I need to finish up packing but when I get home I'm going to show you guys quickly how I typically pack for trips like this okay you guys last time I came to Costco I fainted because this is where my eye doctor is and they dilated my eyes for the first time and didn't realize that that would make me faint but it did like really bad like my dad literally had to come pick me up so round two let's hope i can drive myself home this time this is my favorite sausage in the world they only sell it here in hawaii i'm gonna grab some for my friend who i'm staying with to thank his family for letting me stay with him Jason carrying one of the packets because he says he doesn't want to look like a mean boyfriend other than that, that's all he really cares about. I told her to grab a wagon and she <laughs> insisted that she didn't need one. Okay. <laughs> okay. And here we are. Ooh. I asked her what she needed. Okay. She just listed like five things. No, I did. She said, we don't need a card. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's not true. Oh, so it is a card. I know what a it's card both. is. It's both. It's a wagon and a card. No, I don't respond to anybody who calls it a wagon. <laughs> 
he's going first, just in case I faint afterwards. Okay. That's so dramatic. <laughs> She's Monica right now. Oh my god, stop. She's very afraid of shots. Okay, it's not even the shots, which is last time. I fainted, but it might have been blood prick, I don't know. <laughs> SOS, send help. <laughs> All right. Fine. We'll check in in 10 minutes. Okay, we're making our great escape. We're leaving three minutes earlier than recommended because I think I'm feeling okay. And I think I need canes. So that's where we're headed next. Okay, you guys, it's five o'clock <laughs> for now, it's 4.30. It's 4.30 and I have to leave at 7.15. And my suitcase is empty, love that for me. But wanted to show you guys my packing situation and kind of tell you guys how I pack for trips like this. Um, this is a little bit trickier because I'm gonna be there for like two and a half weeks and it's gonna be like a content trip with my friends and like it's kind of like for work, I guess, if you call this work. So obviously gonna shoot a lot, a lot of content there. So I am planning by outfit. I have been planning like ever since I knew I was going, I was like, okay, I'm gonna start picking selects that I could picture in LA. So uh, that's basically what I did. And so I had all these outfits in my head. I've been planning them the past couple of days. So now it's just a matter of laying them all out, taking a photo of them and making sure that I pack everything that goes with them. So let me show you guys real quick. Okay, so this is the mess of my packing right now. So these like each individual pile like this is all an outfit. And so I'll be there for about three weeks and we'll probably shoot like more than out one outfit a day on some days. So I don't know, I'm kind of stressed about how much to pack, but I'm hoping that the girls bring some cute stuff that I can also borrow. Here are some shoes. I actually have four pairs of shoes already shipped to my friend there. So a little bit worried about fitting everything. I'm actually thinking of taking two of those big suitcases, which might be an issue, but I feel like that'll just save me the stress, but cute sweater vest action, a bunch of workout sets for me like lounge in and for us to work out in, and then like all my other fun stuff. And I also have like a pile of stuff I need to bring, but fall into no category. So like lounge wear and stuff like that. And then my bags are in the corner right there. My sunnies are right here. Um, house slippers for our Airbnb because I'm a, like a weirdo about that and I don't like my feet touching the ground of public places. Um, belt, obviously my milk frother because I'm thinking that'll save us some money. So yeah, this is my situation right now. Just gotta pack all the toiletries and stuff as well. Okay, so this is my toiletry situation right now. This carrying case is from Drunk Elephant, so cute. So this is what I'm bringing or some of what I'm bringing. I still need to pack face wash. Here's all my other stuff. So I have nail polish for me to redo my nails. Um, sunscreen, dry shampoo, deodorant, some stuff I need to shoot, my contacts, my lashes, then all my makeup's in there. So that's the situation right here. Then I have my jewelry in here. Obviously I'm gonna wear my rings on the plane, so I have those on. Um, but all the jewelry that I'm bringing, as well as some earrings or studs, and then my necklaces, trying to go with uh, packing the minimal earrings so I don't lose things like I did on my last trip. Also, I took the time to do my nails today and I already messed them up. Like really could have spent my time doing better things. So I will probably have to redo them anyway. But anyway, when I'm packing, I pretty much live out of little bags. Like in my carry-on, I'll have a bunch of little bags. I don't like things just free falling around. So even in my check-in, I like, like to put everything into tiny bags. So I'm packing all my chargers into a small bag right now. Even all my underwear and socks, I like to keep in bags. I like to use the bags that swimsuit companies give you with your swimsuit because they always seem to be perfect size for stuff like this. I'm definitely gonna need two bags. I'm thinking the second one will be a duffel. Electronics bag. I also just realized I have a campaign of stories I have to put, I have to turn in that I forgot to do. I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze that in, but we'll do my best. I can't decide what to wear to the airport. What do you guys think? I mean, not that you guys can tell me, but I will decide eventually. 
I'm thinking, but this is like my bulkiest stuff. And this jacket is the coolest, but kind of annoying to carry on an airplane, but might do it. Um, I was thinking biker shorts and a bralette, or even Lulu leggings and a bralette. I don't know, leggings are more sanitary on a plane, or I have the super cute gray matching set that I'm planning on lounging in my entire time there. So I think one of those three options. All right, you guys, packed and ready to go. Decided I'm checking two bad boys in since I have a ton of stuff already in LA. But yeah, so decided to do this for my airport fit. This cute green leather jacket that I'm obsessed with and just aligned leggings, my glissons bralette and these cute boots, if you can see them. So yeah, that was a little bit of a sneak peek into my packing process. I usually always pack by outfits, especially if it's like, one week two week vacation unless i'm like going somewhere for like two months or something so yeah i always pack my outfits which i did um i oftentimes i like look for inspo and stuff too so i have a whole inspo folder ready to go and yeah off to eat dinner i will end the vlog here because it'll probably be crazy at the airport since i'll probably be late because here i am vlogging when i'm on the late already hope you guys enjoyed this quick vlog and i will see you guys in la see you guys in the next vlog which will be in la so 